What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with an update video on this uh, Tuesday, December 21st, 2021. Winter solstice here, right? Shortest day of the year. I kind of like the darker, uh, darker days, but that's just me. Not a big fan of all the sunshine. Anyway, it is about uh, 2.50 p.m. California time. Latest quake, a 5.7 earthquake occurring up here in the subduction zone near Alaska. This comes after the 6.2 earthquake off the coast of Northern California yesterday. We are still seeing some significant pressure out here along the entire North American Pacific plate boundary. Uh, let's look at that 5.7 up here, way up here into the subduction zone. I've got the subduction zone interface here, North American uh, Pacific plate boundary. 143 kilometers for this 5.7. That's a pretty deep earthquake. Uh, just north of the Cook Outlet area. Looking at uh, some specifics here of this earthquake. Of course, there's not going to be any tsunami with this. Uh, but it is in a region. Regional information here shows quite a bit of deep earthquake activity throughout history. Uh, some of those can get uh, between 70 and 300 kilometers deep around the Cook Inlet. And of course, uh, some major accumulation stress rates around this region of the subduction zone. Uh, actually one of the highest in the world along here uh, just short of the um, the Chile Peru Chile trench area so deep earthquake activity very common in here I don't believe this earthquake was felt by anybody but uh, we'll go ahead and check out some specifics looks like uh, looks like a couple people did report feeling it just outside of Anchorage Let's see what the responses state here anchor point couple other area locations there so a few folks reported feeling just some light shaking from that 5.7 up in the Alaska region or 5.9 just got upgraded to a 5.9 okay kind of bouncing all over the place here anyway this still is kind of a, a day to watch very closely as we have not seen any major adjustment here on the western part of the Pacific Plate that would indicate uh, some release of pressure and a, a, uh, a relief, if you will, along the west coast and the uh, North American continent. I think things are still cooking here uh, in the terms of seismic pressure increase. Let's go ahead and check out the dynamics here of the activity, which uh, is around the 6.2 that struck yesterday. Uh, of course, a lot of folks uh, did report feeling that earthquake around the Eureka area. I guess it was felt all the way up to uh, Washington State and all the way down into the Bay Area of Northern California. I felt it here in Chico. I had an earthquake rock swinging back and forth, which was pretty cool to look at. Uh, let's see here. So what do we got going on here? So migration of quakes still, uh, not only around the epicenter of the 6.2, but also inland uh, around the Makama Fault. Actually, this is a Bartlett Springs Fault System. The Makama Fault System runs over here uh, through Ukiah. But we had a 3.4, very shallow crustal earthquake around the Kovalo region along the coastal range. All this activity well within a regional, uh, within the regional area of where we would expect to see further activity. And um, there has been some earthquake activity uh, that is missing uh, off the map here. I notice, let's go ahead and go back the last uh, seven days, 2.5 and above. Now remember yesterday, we were looking at a 4.3 up here, uh, or actually 4.3 was kind of up here around the Gorda Plate, and there was another 4.2, 4.4 down here in this region, and we specifically seen them come into the seismographs. They were much stronger than these little threes and whatnot, that, well, that's the latest quake of 4.0. But for yesterday, when we were watching the seismic activity, there was no doubt some fours coming in there, uh, and they were up on the map, and now they are gone. They have vanished. We had movement up here around the Gorda Plate, on the Pacific Plate, and even some earthquake activity into the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. That has since disappeared magically out of the blue. Uh, so I'm not for sure what's going on. And this was even after they were reviewed by seismologists. Someone took them down. So now all the activity just confined mainly to the 6.2 epicenter area. But they can't deny the fact of this deeper earthquake activity down into the transitional zone of the Cascadia, uh, pretty close to the locked area of the southern segment of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, all this movement here uh, within that uh, within that region, 
I don't believe these folks here from the USGS are showing all the magnitudes. Let's go ahead and see if they are. Um, looks like some of them are up there, but we are still missing. Uh, I'm sure we're missing quite a few of them. Those fours are gone. Uh, there was a 4.5, which was much further inland into the, uh, uh, kind of close to the, uh, the uh, locked area, the, the uh, Cascadia which isn't specifically right here where it does subduct. I guess it does kind of start right here and then extends down dip downstream. Uh, and of course it gets deeper as it uh, subducts there underneath the, uh, the um, North American plate. <clears throat> but uh, there's some activity definitely, definitely missing. It was up there yesterday and now it's magically gone. But the activity continues today, folks, um, with a 4.0 earthquake. The latest quake, uh, at least the largest somewhat uh, moderate quake there, latest somewhat moderate quake in the uh, Northern California region. That one struck very close to the epicenter of the 6.2. Even in this area, it's pretty deep, 17 kilometers. And that's not even really around, well, it's kind of at the triple point junction, if you will, the uh, North American uh, Pacific Plate and the Gorda Plate area. Uh, better known as as a whole the Juan de Fuca plate region so we got that triple point area showing some uh, increase in activity today in in the deeper region and also this activity here at the southern end of the Cascadia megathrust the uh, locked and transitional zone uh, up further north along the Oregon area in Washington not a whole lot of movement along the Cascadia showing up here uh, we have seen some activity outside of Mount uh, St. Helens uh, just some microquakes, but not a whole lot to report in this region of the uh, of the states. We did have some further inland pressure here. You can see that kind of line of uh, or half circle of activity. This kind of pops up when we have significant earthquake pressure along the west coast. We see a lot of inland uh, dynamic uh, movement here, and that's kind of what we're seeing today with some activity down in Southern California ramping up as well around the Riverside area. With the 1.8 and a little bit of swarming movement down here uh, in this region here what is that palomar mountains palomar observatory <clears throat> not 100 percent certain what that is but uh seen some quakes kick up there it looks like a 2.7 the largest uh right around the five to six kilometer depth range and some uh some activity ramping up along the san jacinto fault area as well uh, this little earthquake up here, what do we got? 2.4 and bodfish, bodfish, 6.6 kilometers. Areas to the north here <clears throat> look fairly quiet. Long Valley Super Volcano, Antelope uh, Valley, and the Tonopah, Nevada region all just look kind of calm today. There was a, a little bit larger earthquake over here in Utah just a short time ago as well. Deep earthquake here, 3.6 at 19 kilometers deep. Starting to see a trend going on all over the North American plate currently with some deep activity kicking up. Uh, there's that swarming activity kicking up around uh, Cedar, Utah, or Springville, or Sunnyside, I should say. Could have swore I just seen uh, yeah, Springdale. That's where the uh, 3.6 struck way down here. That's that deep one. Uh, movement up into Idaho as well, kind of ramping up around the Sawtooth Fault Zone. Uh, so overall, I think now with this, oh, they just upgraded it to 6.0. They're uh, into the subduction zone, 114 kilometers. So the depth still consistent with a subduction zone earthquake. Um, so be on guard. There's not a whole lot of relief over here along the Western Pacific, folks. North American plate, Pacific plate, the bullseye right now. South America has gone quiet. We'll be back a little bit later on, folks, with a complete update video on the activity. But for now... Uh, movement continues west coast and the 6.0 up in the Alaska. Uh, west coast remains on earthquake watch for the uh, continued activity that is occurring here along the North American Pacific Plate uh, and also the Cascadia subduction zone. We'll chat, we will chat at you guys a little bit later on. Stay safe out there, folks. we got a whole lot of rain coming in here to California, uh, so just going to deal with that currently. Stay safe.